welcome to another Mathematic Monday. We're in week nine of learning. We are going to start off by using a strategy to make a 10, but this time we're gonna do it while we're subtracting. Then we are going to take some numbers that are in unit form and try to get them to standard form. And then we're gonna subtract within 20. So right here at the top, we have 42 and we're subtracting six. That's something that we could mentally do in our head if we could make a 10. So 42 minus six, I can break this six into two and another number. Two plus what equals six? Two plus four. So down here, this is everything that would be happening in my head. 42 minus two would give me 40. That is the 10 I'm making when I make a 10. I was making 40. So now I'm gonna do 40 minus four, the other half of that six or the other part of that six. So 40 minus four would give me 36. So now I know 42 minus 6 is 36. It's so important to know how to make 10, how to subtract 10 in groups of 10. So here I have 85 minus 9. Once again, I'm trying to get to a 10. So 85 minus five would give me 80. That's the 10 that I made it to. How much more do I need to make nine? Five plus what would give me nine? Five plus four. So now I'm subtracting 80 minus that four. I subtracted five and that gave me 80. Now I'm subtracting the four which all together I would have subtracted nine. 80 minus four is 76. So now I know that 85 minus nine is 76. So here I am, and I wanna subtract eight from 31. So I have my one already, which will give me 30, the 10 that I'm making. How much more do I need to make eight over here? I need seven. So now I have 30 minus seven. So all together, see here I subtracted the one, and here I'm subtracting seven. So one and seven gives me eight. I just subtracted it in parts, so I could do it in my head. So 30 minus seven actually equals 23. So here, 31 minus eight is 23. Excellent work. All of this math that we did here could be done mentally. All you're trying to do is make a 10. Here, I have some unit form. I have to draw, and I'm gonna change it into standard form. So these are numbers. I have nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if I can make a 10. Well, if I have nine ones here, I know I just have to take one from over here to make a 10. <clears throat> How many ones do I have left? Five. So I have one, ten, and five ones. So that would give me 15. 
So now I know that nine ones and six ones equals 15. 15 ones, which gives me 15. Here I have nine tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and six tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So now I'm working with tens. Remember we talked about 10 tens makes 100. So I wonder if I can make 10 tens. Here I know I have nine. If I put one more, then I can create 100. How many tens do I have left? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So in standard form, this number would be 150. These numbers seem related. Here I had nine ones and six ones, and I ended up with 15 ones. Here I had nine tens and six tens, and then I ended up with 15 tens. 15 tens gives me 100, and five tens. 15 ones gave me a 10 and five tens. So good to see the pattern in numbers. So now I'm subtracting within 20. So if I know how to make a 10, then I also know how to make a 20. So here, 20 minus five is gonna give me 15. 5 plus 5 is 10, and I already have a 10 there, so that gives me the 20. 18 minus 7. So I have 18, and I just want to take 7 ones away from that. So if I take away 7 ones, that'll give me 11. And I can check it, 11 plus seven is equal to 18. It's like that fat family. Here I have 16 minus eight. If you know your doubles, then you know eight plus eight would give you 16. And here I have 15 minus six. Mentally, I can make a 10. Remember, we were doing that up at the top. So 15 minus five, would give me 10, and if I subtract one more, I would end up with nine. Excellent work today. We are gonna get deeper and deeper into subtraction this week. See you tomorrow. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me, I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.